Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we need to clean up the database in the course that you are looking at. Um, and so basically the first way to do that is we can um, head to the sheet in the spreadsheet. Um, the sheets, uh, I, I think book usage is probably the one to keep organized easiest, but um, uh, that is book usage by course, but there is book usage by book as well. But let's do it by courses. I think that'll be easier. I included both just in case your organization method is slightly different. So anyway, scroll down until I find Math 5 and um, I'll select all that and, you know, whatever you need to do in order to keep yourself organized. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll uh, mark all that so I can kind of keep track of them as I go along and maybe um, mark them as red as I knock them off just to kind of keep track of which ones I've done. But anyways, these are all of the books from the uh, Math 5 course. Um, so first book is 1.1 place value and the book name that it actually refers to in that um, LTI area is num2 place value and so on like that. So that will help us uh, make sure that we get ourselves organized. So I'm going to put that aside and here we are. Um, and so what I'm doing is first of all looking at 1.1 uh, was place value and um, it came from the num2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to call this 1.1 1 .1, and then that way I can keep track of, of what's 1.1 in this new course. And then uh, 1.2 relates to the num3, so I'll go down here and 1.2. And I'm, I want to keep the num3 in there because if I'm going to correct things in the future, um, I'm going to want to make sure that I have that. So, um, so basically just organizing your 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 um, and the more we organize it, the easier it'll be to kind of clear out the stuff that we don't need. So I'm going to continue on uh, organizing the 1.1 to 1.3 for this and then I'll show you how to clear out the unneeded stuff. 